Hey everyone, today I'm doing a first impression of the toddlers update. I do not think that I can express how excited I am. And I was not able to record when this first came out and it was making me so sad. So the first thing I did when I booted up my computer was I got some custom content for Sims. So let's jump in to create a Sim and see what I've created. Um, I didn't download too much custom content, but I did download a little bit for the toddlers. And this is the toddler I made. She is so cute. And the traits are so adorable. Angelic, fussy, silly, charmer, independent, wild, clingy, and inquisitive. I think those are perfect for toddlers and the little toddler glows. Ah, oh, just so cute. Can't wait to see what else comes out for the toddlers because obviously EA doesn't put out that much. So let's jump into the items. They got lots of beds, lots of toys, a couple other pieces of furniture, um, some cute little chairs, a playhouse, and some other random bits high chairs of course the potty chairs um i think there's three different types of beds with multiple different uh colorations and some walls and some floors and some shelves and oh my gosh it's just so cute so now we have a bunch of clips of me just playing the actual game so here's feeding some toddlers um honestly i I am just obsessed. I am so obsessed. I don't even know what to say other than I'm obsessed. The interactions with the toddlers are so cute. Um, some of them are lacking um, where they either like repeat themselves or they just kind of seem rushed, <laughs> but I totally understand and I'm hoping that it'll smooth out, you know, in the future. Um, I love the high chairs and I love that um, the kids can actually ask for food and the toddlers surprisingly come out much smarter than toddlers did in The Sims 3. Um, and you can also feed your toddler on the floor. I mean, well actually they will take their bowl and feed themselves on the floor. Um, let's get into potty training. Um, what I loved about the potty training is your Sim can walk away. Your Sim is not stuck there just like awkwardly watching them do their business. I mean, they go back and forth, but if you have them cued to do something else, they will walk away. And then they come back and like encourage them and talk to them, but they're not stuck there. And so I love the multitasking aspect of this. It is so good, I love it. And I'm very excited. I don't even know why. Potty training is not that exciting, but it was cute. And I love the little actions that the kids do. I've always found that adorable. Another thing that I really find adorable is the react or the actions and how they interact with one another, toddler between toddler. It is probably the cutest thing ever. Um, and let's jump into bubble baths and baths. You can bathe your toddler and you should bathe your toddler just as you should feed them and let them sleep. Otherwise they will throw tantrums. And <laughs> the tantrums, I didn't catch one on video, but they are cute and kind of funny, but you know, also kind of sad, <laughs> but yeah. Um, also the, oh gosh, what's next? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, okay. The playhouses. I, <laughs> I think that the playhouses, <laughs> this is the action that's lacking for me. Look at them. They're not even really doing anything. Like they, they just kind of stand there and hold the doll and look at it for the most part. Um, but they do have other actions like with the bookshelves and they can, <laughs> tear into things they can like rummage through the bookshelves and throw stuff around um the only thing that i kind of think is lacking from here is obviously it would make a mess but it doesn't um the playing actions are so cute um in this little family that i made unfortunately i didn't get any of the cute like actual mother um mother toddler actions because i did not make her the mother I added them in Create a Sim and I did not know that you had to like, you have to assign them as the mother. Otherwise they're just a caregiver to them and you don't get all of the cute little actions. Um, but I did see the cute little actions and they're so adorable. I'm in love. Um, I also love that the uh, toddlers can interact with the little iPads. It is so cute. This one is drawing and even though they're not actually drawing, they're just kind of pushing the buttons. 
I still think it's adorable. And then of course the toys. The blocks is probably the most important one from what I can tell. Um, it's them stacking the blocks and eventually learning shapes. And I think this is super cute. Um, they eventually kind of sync up, which is kind of funny, um, even though their uh, levels are different. Um, oh, uh, but it is so cute. I honestly love the interactions between the toddlers and all of the little interactions that they can do with little things. I love that they can climb up on furniture. And let's talk about their walking. They start out walking, which I find strange. You don't really teach them to walk. They just kind of learn movement. Uh, but as the game progresses, they get better at walking, which is great. But they are so cute running around. It's adorable. Even when they're angry or sad, they're just their little faces. And I love that they can climb up on everything. And they are like true toddlers. They can go up and down the stairs. They're not limited because, you know, the game says they're limited. <laughs> All right, so in the little beds, they have quite a few interactions. You can read them a story, you can tuck them in, you can sit and chat with them, and they can also climb in and out of the beds themselves. You don't know how much I love this. <laughs> it would take so long to get a sim to stop doing what they were doing to put a toddler to bed in The Sims 3 that this just makes me oh so happy. <laughs> And I love that this, these little interactions are so adorable. I am in love with this update. I am not even going to lie. This is probably my favorite update The Sims 4 has done. And after two years of kind of putting out crap, <laughs> this makes me so happy that they didn't charge for it. Um, I think that was probably one of my biggest fears where they, going, they were going to put toddlers into a an expansion pack and then not everyone would be able to experience them so I'm so glad that they did do it this way. I am in love with this update and I hope you guys are also enjoying this update. I'm gonna stop rambling now since it's been about seven minutes. Anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying the update. Remember to sim on and I'll see you guys next time.